As the name suggests, a radio pharmaceutical is a combination of a pharmaceutical or any other biochemical entity to which we attach a radionuclide which emits radiation for us to enable to either image or to use in a therapeutic situation. Radio pharmaceuticals are complex products. So the role of a radio pharmaceutical scientist is to discover, develop, produce and undertake quality control of the final product before it's administered into the patient. The modern radio pharmaceuticals involve the use of very short-lived radionuclides such as fluorine 18 which is a half-life of 109 minutes, carbon 11 which is a half-life of 20 minutes and gallium 68 which has a half-life of 68 minutes as examples. These, uh, these radio pharmaceuticals cannot be imported and their transport from manufacturing facilities to hospitals is very restricted. So they must be prepared where the patients reside. Radio pharmaceutical scientists are required to make these products safely and efficaciously. Radio pharmaceuticals make a difference because they provide information to physicians that allows them to make better informed decisions on patient management. We need more professionals because radio pharmaceutical science, molecular imaging, targeted radionuclide therapy are all disciplines within nuclear medicine that are rapidly growing. As a radio pharmaceutical scientist, it is important that we produce the best possible product to ensure that uh, doses for imaging are accurate, are correctly targeting the right part of the body and the therapeutic doses are producing the desired effect. Uh, what excites me about the field of radiopharmaceutical science is we're currently seeing a, a lot of advances. So uh, imaging technologies that are highly sensitive and highly specific to disease types is uh, greatly improving the detection of disease and improving patient outcome. New therapies are becoming available, again, to specifically target uh, patients' cancer and help to reduce adverse effects.